What's up guys, Omega here and welcome back to GT7 for another lap guide taking us to Dragon Trail Gardens for Daily Race B this week in the Group 4 cars on the Racing Hard Tyres. Now I have chosen the Ferrari for this one. I tried a couple of cars and it doesn't seem that there's a standout just yet on the leaderboards as to which car is the best, but this one did handle quite well over the curbs, which is the biggest problem with this track and it also looks and sounds super cool, so why not? But even if you don't intend on using this car, this guide should still help you with braking points and racing lines, etc. So without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off your lap, you start around this point, And as you come around this corner to go over the start finish line, you can actually go very, very wide out here if you like. I didn't think you could, but I tried it a couple of times and didn't get a penalty. So if you want a little bit of extra time, you can do that. But the main thing is just to get a good run onto the straight. And as you cross the start finish line, getting ready for this very fast left hander, you want to be getting up on the curb on the right hand side. And pretty much as soon as you touch it, you want to be turning in and braking around about the time you hit this sign i shift down to fourth gear and just play with the throttle until you kind of feel the car is going to make it around the corner and then flat out one thing to note about the ferrari one of the biggest things i did notice was this first corner the first few times i tried to do a lap in it i just went straight on so it might be a little bit of a pain at first but you do get used to it also something to note i'm running zero brake balance brake balance is available in the race but i am currently running it at zero for this lap and anyway as we come up to this next left hander i'm going to be looking out for the 100 meter board on the right hand side or the end of the curb getting up onto the curb and shifting all the way down to second gear and turning in quite late for this corner trying to hit the apex on the left hand side and then a little bit of a flip on the accelerator to push the car over towards the left and then i let the car coast and try to line up this first sausage and just before i hit it i shift up to third and something to note about this chicane in particular you don't necessarily have to take it this way if you're not confident doing this you can just go around and take more of a normal racing line but to get the most out of your lap you kind of need to do this so that applies for this one and the next corner. But if you are going to attack it, you want the first sausage slightly to the right hand side. So you want to get the car pretty much straight over the top of it, but it kind of feels like you want it to the right just a touch, almost as if it's hitting the inside of the right hand wheel. And then for the next one, about halfway between these two corners, I am fully back on the throttle. And as I said before, you can just go around this sausage. But if you want the most out of your lap, you kind of have to attack it like this. And pretty much the opposite for this sausage as the corner just before. You want it in the middle of the car, but slightly to the left so almost like the sausage is touching the inside of the left hand tires and if you get this right you can hold it flat all the way through this corner and use the full width of the track of the available runoff you can even see my ghost goes a little bit wider than i do there and then try to keep a tight line to the left hand side until the track opens up and then let the car go over to the right hand side and what you're looking for here is just after this 150 board on the right hand side you want to be hard on the brakes all the way down to second gear i found is the best in the ferrari get up on the curb on the right slightly to widen your entry to the corner if you kind of overshoot the corner shift back to first if you need to but i found that second allows you to carry a lot more speed for some reason well at least it did with me swing the car in and try to meet the apex on the inside and then get on the power as early as possible for the exit using the full width of the track and the available runoff on the exit and try to stick to this right hand apex then the left hand apex and you can see i'm still on the throttle at this point and that's because i'm trying to push the car to the left because the track goes around to the right so i'm trying to get the the car over to the left hand side here and i'm stabbing the brakes just as i pass this orange bit of fencing on the side of the track as i downshift into third gear and swing the car in towards the right meeting the apex on the inside and i'm doing the same thing here trying to push the car over to the right with the power and once again a little stab on the brakes just to swing the car back the other way again using the full width of the track on the exit of the corner you have to be careful not to run too wide because they will kill you these curbs they are known to be deadly it's just that you have to take these lines to get as fast a lap as possible so if you're not comfortable on the curbs, just use the same principle, but stay on the tarmac. And then coming up to this very tricky set of corners. And what you're looking for here is the board on the left-hand side, but I brake quite a bit earlier than that. It's kind of as the road dips, like it's at the bottom of a hill. Hard on the brakes into third gear. I leave it in third gear and just let the car coast. Giving the car little bits of acceleration to carry the speed throughout the corners. I hit the first apex here. I kind of missed the second one and go a little bit wider to be able to swing the car in and just be fully on the accelerator. So I treat it as like one big hairpin sort of thing if that makes sense and once you practice this quite a bit you will get the feeling for it and know when you can and cannot get hard on the accelerator and keep it on and you 
I'm gonna be hitting this last apex on the exit and flat out all the way up here until you get to the end of this fencing on the right that turns like an orangey color, hard on the brakes and get up on the curb on the right hand side and then swing the car in to try to meet the apex on the left hand side all the way down to I went to first gear here. You can stay in second about midway through the corner, shifting back up to third and trying to get back on the power or the exit, trying to meet the apex on the inside and using all the available runoff on the exit of the corner once again. And then it's just flat out to the line. And this one is good for a 138.812. So probably not the fastest time in the world, but it will give you some idea of how to do the lap. I know it can be a very, very tricky combination for some people, including myself. But what I'll do now is I'll play that back in full speed so you can see how the lap looks when it's in action. And then I'll leave the out of car view for the end. For those of you who do enjoy watching that, it will give you some idea of where the car is positioned, etc. that you may not be able to see in the view that I use. So if you get any value out of today's video, let me know by dropping a like on it and subscribe to the channel for more lap guides, information, live streams, and more. I've also shared my ghost. So if you look for the tag Omega, you will find this replay and be able to use it as a ghost or watch how I'm doing the lap. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave a video at the end that will explain how to get a hold of the replay and the ghost. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.